Week 19 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few guards I looked to drop this week. The first guy, Terrence Mann. For the Los Angeles Clippers. So Terrence Mann, it's been an up and down season here for Mann over the season here. But now with more acquisitions over the last few weeks here for this Clipper team. Playing time and opportunity of scoring the basketball is going to go down. So on the season for Mann, 9.2 points a game. 3.7 rebounds, 2.2 assists. 1-3 a game and 52%. From the field here. So, man, I know he has a big 26 point game February 16th, but after the All Star break now, the first two games back, he really hasn't done much to garner much fantasy value. And fantasy owners have dropped him in 8% of fantasy leagues. February 16th at the Suns, 26 points, four rebounds, three assists, a steal, three threes, 83% from the field. February 24th versus the Kings, 10 points, three rebounds, four assists, a three, 80% from the field. And February 26th, at Denver, seven points, three rebounds, three assists, to three and 42% from the field. So right here, this Clipper team, they've lost two ball games in a row, tough ones. And with Russell Westbrook in town, he's got the ball more in his hands. And he's been playing better basketball as well so far in the early going. So now with a lot of guys on this team that are going to get touches before Terrence Mann, he's not going to do much in any other categories to really go on a fantasy value. And he's a drop this week. The next guy, Ben Simmons. Of the Brooklyn Nets of Ben Simmons. It's been a wreck of a season once again here. This season not playing at all. And this season here, not much of anything. I know 6.9 points a game, 6.3 rebounds, 6.1 assists, 1.3 steals, 56% from the field. Those are great numbers and all. But with the injuries over the last few weeks here, and him not really giving you good stat lines here, Ben Simmons is not really a guy I want on my fantasy roster anymore. And even with all the trades that the ran and Kyrie Irving here, I still don't think the numbers are going to go up or make a difference. So right now, still on the 58% of fantasy leagues. A lot of fantasy owners had enough of Ben Simmons. And I think this would be the time to drop him. Because right now, with the injury, with the name, and with the numbers just not being there, there's better options on the waiver wire this week. And I think he's an easy drop this week. And the final guys, Karis LeVert of the Cleveland Cavaliers. So Karis LeVert, it's been an up-and-down season here in his first full year with the Cavs. 11.6 points a game. 3.9 rebounds, 4 assists, 1.5 threes, and 41% from the field. But the last couple weeks here, he's definitely gone down his stats. 4.5 points a game, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, and 46% from the field. So with the Nets and the Paces, he was a good scoring option with Karis Oliver. But obviously over there, with this Cleveland Cavs team, he's the 4th or 5th option with good guys. Like Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garwin, obviously. You got Mobile, you got Jaron Allen. And he just hasn't done much. February 23rd versus the Nuggets. Six points, four rebounds. Nine assists, a block, 60% from the field. February 24th at the Hawks. Horrible ball game in that one. One rebound, and he 0 for 2 from the field. Only nine minutes of play. In February 26th versus the Raptors. Seven points, three rebounds, six assists. A steal with 340% from the field. So to be honest, the only stat line he's really giving you right now in category here is Karis LeVert. We thought he was a scorer, but he's passing the basketball and getting assists. But besides that, he's not really doing much of anything for fantasy on it. So right now, while he's doing nothing and the playing time has gone down, and like I said, he's the fourth or fifth option at best on this calf team. He's a guy to drop this week. So that's a few guards I look to drop here in week 19 of the fantasy basketball season.